Toby is a steam tram. He looks very different from the other engines. He is square and his body is made of wood. Toby is not as strong as the other engines, but he always tries his hardest. One morning, Toby was delivering some freight cars of milk. He puffed across the island and up Gordon's Hill. Gordon's Hill was very steep. Toby puffed hard. It was a long climb. Just then, Gordon arrived at the bottom of the hill. But today, the express was heavy, and Gordon had to wait for Edward to help. Bother, huffed Gordon. Soon, Edward puffed to the rescue. He buffered up behind Gordon. Edward pushed, and Gordon pulled. At last, the express train started to move. Toby had finally reached the top of the hill when Gordon puffed past. Slow coach, Gordon huffed. I'm trying my hardest, gasped Toby. Pah, sniffed Gordon. You're not even a proper engine. This made Toby feel very sad. That night, Sir Topham Hatt came to see Toby. Edward is needed at the docks, Sir Topham had said. You ought to work at Wellsworth Yard in his place. But I'll never be able to do Edward's job, Toby cried. He's a proper steam engine. Nonsense, said Sir Topham Hatt. You are one of my engines and you must be useful. Toby was very worried. What if he wasn't useful? The next morning, Toby puffed nervously out of his shed. I hope no one needs pushing up Gordon's hill, puffed Toby. Toby wished he was a proper steam engine. At last, Toby arrived at Wellsworth Yard. There were lots of freight cars, and they looked very heavy. I'll never be able to shunt all those, Toby puffed. You can do it, Toby, called Thomas. That made Toby feel much better. Then he started to shunt the freight cars. He shunted coal cars for Henry. And slate cars for Donald. He even shunted fruit and vegetable cars for Douglas. Maybe I can do it, Toby chuffed. But then, Gordon puffed past. He was pulling the express with lots of coaches. Toby watched as Gordon puffed toward the hill. Gordon puffed with all his might. But once again, the express was too heavy. Gordon was stuck. Father, he huffed. Gordon's driver called the yard manager. And the yard manager came to see Toby. You need to push Gordon to the top of the hill, the yard manager said. Yes, sir, groaned Toby. But Gordon looks much too heavy for me to push. Toby puffed nervously. Don't worry, Thomas called. You can do it, Toby. I'll do my best, he puffed, and he chuffed off to Gordon's hill. When Gordon heard that Toby was coming, he was very cross. Toby's only a steam tram, Gordon huffed. He will never be able to push me up the hill.
Toby buffered up behind Gordon. Then he pushed with all his might. Gordon didn't move. Is that the best you can do? Gordon snorted. They should have sent a proper engine. Toby was about to give up. But then he remembered what Thomas had said. I can do it. I can do it, Toby panted. Toby pushed harder. And harder. Suddenly, Gordon's wheels started to move. Toby kept pushing. His engine roared. His axles ached. Gordon moved slowly up the hill. When Percy saw Toby pushing, he blew his whistle with excitement. You can do it, Toby! Go on, cried Percy. Toby huffed and puffed and chuffed, but at last he pushed Gordon right to the top of the hill. Gordon was impressed. Now his express would run on time. Toby was tired, but he was very proud. I did it, he puffed excitedly. That night, Sir Topham Hatt came to see Toby. Today, you were a very useful engine indeed, he said. Thank you, sir, Toby chuffed. And even though Toby was a steam tram, he felt like a proper engine after all.